ArcGIS Pro is a great application for connecting to your GIS infrastructure and doing complex analysis. The release of Pro 2.3 brings you new tools that will help you make better decisions. Here's an example in the Arctic. The sea ice cover is declining. In 2011, NASA's IceScape project studied the impact of climate change on the Arctic Ocean. Water samples were taken at multiple depths at each station and measured for a variety of chemicals. Scientists found extreme variation in the amount of chlorophyll that they found. Our analysis focuses on chlorophyll, an indicator of phytoplankton, which is the foundation of the ocean food chain. Chlorophyll requires light and is normally found in open water. But what was surprising was that most of the high concentrations were found under meter-thick ice. The theory is that thinning sea ice cover allows more light penetration, allowing for phytoplankton to bloom. We'll use Pro 2.3 to better understand this data. I'll first symbolize the chlorophyll amounts with the highest values in orange and red. Using the new scatterplot matrix chart, I can plot three important ocean chemistry values. Temperature, salinity, and chlorophyll. We can quickly uncover patterns in this data. We can see how temperature and chlorophyll relate with most of the high concentrations of chlorophyll at the lowest temperatures. We can easily switch between charts and see how most of the chlorophyll values are concentrated near the mid-range of salinity. And finally, as expected, we can see that most of the chlorophyll samples are concentrated near the surface because of light penetration. We can also pl plot o other ocean chemistry values. But first, the data has some outliers. A great enhancement at Pro 2.3 is that you can have multiple definition queries on a layer. I can easily switch between queries, choose the one that removes the outliers, and it automatically updates the chart. We quickly see patterns in the data. I'm going to add a linear trend line, as well as R squared values, so I can see where the data correlates, but most importantly, where it does not. I can add this chart as well as a 3D scene to a layout. And here's something new. You see the red squiggly line in my title? I've spelled chlorophyll wrong. In Pro 2.3, we have spell check in layouts. <laughs> now, let's go deeper and, and look at the new empirical Bayesian Kriegian 3D geostatistical tool. This tool allows us to interpolate the data in 3D. But first, there's some noise at the edge of my interpolation. I can use another new feature in Pro 2.3 and set a clip layer to eliminate the noise at the extent of my interpolation. Now I can clearly see where the highest concentrations of chlorophyll are under the ice. Since this is a 3D problem, let's explore it in 3D. The 3D geostatistical layer calculates on the fly. As I go deeper, at negative 5 and 10, you can see the high concentrations of chlorophyll diminishing. We can extract these values to a vertical wall of points under the ship track. We're at station 61 near the center of the calculated bloom. Now let's go deeper under the ice so we can see the diminishing values as you go deeper.
We've used Pro 2.3 to visualize and analyze this information to gain greater understanding. Now, let's go to the lower 48 and look at some of the new deep learning capabilities in ArcGIS Pro and how they can solve a different problem. Let's look at BLM lands in southeast New Mexico and the rapid pace of oil and gas development in this region. That's a lot of wells. The BLM might want to monitor the progress of new drilling on their land, as well as look for potential illegal drilling. How will we do this? First, let's bring in new Sentinel-2 imagery. At 10 meter resolution, when I turn off the well points, you can clearly see well pads across the whole landscape. Sentinel-2 is great for change detection since it's refreshed every five days. When I compare old imagery to new, you can clearly see three new pads have been completed. When I turn on well points provided by the state of New Mexico, we see an interesting problem. We have at least two pads with no permit information. How will we find the rest of these across the broader landscape? The answer, deep learning. First, we need to construct a training data set so our deep learning model can learn how to find well pads. We can use the export training data for deep learning tool to export this training, these training samples to a deep learning framework. Once the model is complete, we can apply it across the rest of southeast New Mexico. With the detect objects using deep learning tool, we can leverage the model directly in Pro. And here are the results. With deep learning, we have found most of the well pads across the landscape. Let's extend our analysis and use GIS to solve the problem. I've overlaid well points from the state of New Mexico and found these pads in blue with no permits. We can now use this information to align our inspection plans with field staff. We can also share this information to the web so that both land managers and field staff can put it to use. What would have taken several days took just a few hours. And this just scratches the surface of what we can do with Pro 2.3.